Hey, it is Dave here again, and we've got another product review. This particular product that we're going to look at today is called Alicillin. Alicillin. And um, Alicillin is basically, if we were to be really, 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 really simplistic with our explanation, it's basically garlic extract. Why would we use garlic extract? Well, garlic is a potent antimicrobial. It is very, very good at not only killing things like uh, yeast and fungal organisms, bad bacteria, parasites, etc., but it's also very good at breaking down the biofilms as well. I've talked about biofilms in several of the videos, which is where these uh, critters build little crusty homes around themselves, little uh, cocoons or shields, and it stops antimicrobial agents like antibiotics and antifungals getting in and killing them. It's literally a protected little home that they make for themselves in the GI tract, in the sinuses, in the mouth. Plaque, dental plaque, for example, is an example of a biofilm, that hard substance that, that builds up on the teeth. So you might ask to yourself, well, why would I want to use a supplement that contains garlic? Why would I want to buy garlic supplements when I can just eat garlic? Well, in order to get the high dose of garlic that you would get from one of these supplements, you'd have to eat a lot of raw garlic yourself, and that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Not many people are willing to just shove lots and lots of cloves of garlic into their mouths, chew them up, and then swallow them. It can burn a lot. Even when you juice garlic, it can make the juice very, very hot and, bur and, and it really burns the, uh, the throat and the stomach. So I don't think it's a great idea to do that. Some of you might enjoy doing that. That's fine. I prefer to use garlic in supplement form. So the reason I'm going to use it is I'm going to use it when people have H. pylori because garlic has been shown to have anti-H. pylori properties. I'm going to use it for people who have yeast and fungal overgrowth. I'm going to use it in people who have things like uh, parasites as well. And the garlic I'll use on its own next to, and when I say on its own, I mean just garlic in the capsule. I'll use the garlic capsules and I'll add them to a supplement like uh, biocidin or Parabotanic Select, for example, which are multi-herb products that contain a lot of the other antimicrobial agents that can knock out these bad bugs. Now, garlic itself has other benefits. So we know that it's particularly healthy and, and beneficial for the cardiovascular system. However, if you're taking blood thinning medica medications, anything that is sort of an anticoagulant or a blood thinner, you have to be really, really careful with garlic. And I probably would not use this particular product with anybody who is using blood thinning medications or anticoagulants because it, it does act as a blood thinner. So we don't want to thin the blood too much and leave you in trouble. Therefore, if you have any of those uh, medical indications, you don't want to be using this particular uh, product. For everybody else, it's typically very, very safe to use. You have to be careful with the dosage because if you take too much allicillin, you'll have people crossing the street to try and avoid you because you'll just stink of garlic. So I do not recommend taking too much of this stuff. Probably two capsules a day in most cases would be more than enough um, for, uh, the re for the use that we, or, or the goals, the um, results that we're trying to achieve here in knocking out the bad bugs. Now again, as, I've, as I always say, really just taking garlic and expecting all your health in, uh, problems to go away is, is probably an unrealistic expectation. You need to get your diet right. You need to get your lifestyle optimized, your stress management, your breathing, your movement, all of the things that are fundamental to human health that will keep your immune system and all the other systems in your body nice and healthy once you've gotten rid of the bad bugs. That's massively, massively important. So if you keep going out and eating McDonald's or you know, you're not going to bed until 3 a.m. every night, you're out partying, doing all of those things, and you're expecting something like allicillin to resolve all your health challenges, it, it ain't going to happen. So what we really want to be doing is putting all of these great supplements in these reviews on top of a really strong foundation, which involves diet, lifestyle, etc. As you're probably aware by now, we have the Digestive Reset Plan that can help you with that. Also, my books can help you with that as well. More information about allicillin below, below the video window. More information about the different products and services that we offer to help you. Um, if you'd like any other information, please don't hesitate to get in touch, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Uh, my name's Dave Pompers, as you know. This has been a product review for Alicillin, and I'll catch you soon. Thank you.